If you ever use spray on shortening when you're cooking pancakes or eggs, you might want to check what you're spraying very carefully. A new report finds you could spray your eggs with furniture polish by mistake. Take a look at these two spray cans purchased from Walmart. One is great value brand spray on griddle shortening. It's their house brand of Pam. The other great value lemon scented furniture polish. The cans are nearly identical. Identical. Consumer Reports magazine is urging Walmart to change the design of one of them before somebody gets hurt. Speaking of getting hurt, if you have toddlers, check your bathtub to see if you have any of the tub toys just added to the recall list. Munchkin is recalling 34,000 of these bathtub subs. The intake valve on the bottom of the toy can suck up skin and cut children. They were sold in stores nationwide. If you're looking for a job or planning a future, you might want to know which careers have the lowest unemployment rates these days. With unemployment hovering around 10%, you know, it would be nice to go into a field that has only or 3 or 4% unemployment rate. So the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics crunched the numbers and found, guess what? Number crunchers tend to have the best job prospects. Jobs with lower unemployment include accountants, bookkeepers, database administrators, lawyers and software engineers. Bad news for cell phone users, Google is going to hang up on its free 411 information service. But before you get too upset, the good news is that Microsoft is stepping up to take its place. I have the 411. No matter how much you plan ahead, it happens to all of us. You're out on the street on your cell phone, and you realize you don't have a number you need to call. So you dial 411 and hold your breath when your cell phone bill arrives. It, it, it can be expensive. It can be very expensive. Most cell carriers now charge between $1.50 and $2 for a 411 call, and that doesn't include airtime. As a result, some people won't dial 411 ever. So you try to avoid it? I try to avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> That's changed, though, in the past few years, thanks to the arrival of free services, such as Google's 411 and the original 1-800-FREE-411. I remember changing to the 1-800-FREE-411. The Unfortunately, that one is loaded with ads, and Google has just announced it is ending 800 Google 411 on November 12th because it wants people to use its smartphone application instead. Doesn't that stink? So what's a caller to do? Enter the newest free service, 1-800-BING-411. You can find local businesses and even get traffic reports, movie show times, and weather. So check it out. Bing, of course, is Microsoft's upstart search engine. Microsoft is betting here that it can switch over some Google users to Bing's search engine as a result of doing this. On my webpage right now, should you sign up for underground water line insurance? Read my take on these letters that everybody is receiving at their home on WCPO.com so you don't waste your money, Reddit. John's always got the 411. Oh, yeah.